dual slit experiment. I'm sure you are all familiar. A stream of single quantum particles, let's say photons, are fired at two slits in a barrier. And mysteriously, the single photon appears to pass through both slits at the same time, as evidenced by the interference pattern that starts to appear when the photon hits the back sensor. But we conclude that the single photon is somehow interacting with itself. And now we have prima facie evidence of the superposition of quantum particles. But they can exist in more than one place at the same time. And that idea makes us uncomfortable. We're not used to things being in more than one place at the same time. It's in conflict with our direct experience of the world. I am not in a superposition. I am standing only here. And you are not in a superposition. You are sitting only there. So we decide we need more information. We place a detector on one of the two slits so we can tell when the photon is passing through. But. As soon as the detector is activated, the interference pattern on the back sensor disappears. The superposition photon has suddenly collapsed to a classical single position. The photon is now only in one place. The act of our observing the particle has somehow changed it. It's a complex problem which leads to a simple question. What the hell just happened? Now watch. I asked the professor to provoke her. There is no shortage of proposed answers to that question. Mm -hmm. The Copenhagen interpretation, which states that the act of measurement affects the system. Please. The Penrose interpretation, which suggests that the wave function collapse is caused by space-time curvature. I want to talk to you about the von neumann wigner interpretation which states that human consciousness is the key modifier in decoherence. Are you fucking kidding? Katie, you're offering a lecture on von Neumann Wigner? Are you serious? Half the people in this room are undergrads. They might actually believe what you're saying. There are many interesting conjectures within the theory. It's dual as bullshit, which is the worst kind of bullshit. You would prefer? The Everett interpretation. Which you didn't even mention. Ah, Everett. Whose interpretation states that there is no change to the superposition of the humble quantum particle. Rather, there is a change to the entire universe. It states that the macroscopic superposition exists. And just so we're all clear what that means, it means the universe is constantly splitting, like the trunk and branches and twigs of an infinitely large tree. And on that tree, all possible worlds will exist. All possible events will happen. All histories and all futures, a near infinite number of times. It's deterministic. It's supported by the math. And it's supported by the experiment.